Matt Pinville, Rock on the Range 2014. My voice sounds like total garbage, but I love that Phil Ensemble from Pantera last night said, he goes, Matt, he goes, whenever we're in the same room, nobody can tell our voices apart. Because you know, you know, you know, we've been friends since like, you I know what I mean? I my mean? voice out yesterday, and now uh, the only sound I have is yeah. Phil. Yeah, <laughs> Phil's fantastic. I Apparently he went hard last night. Yeah, well he was hanging out in here with us. I know. I put on vulgar display of power yeah. in the yeah. room, and I had, there was much I went crazy. Red was yeah. here too. Yeah, well I hung with Rex earlier. That's I hadn't awesome. seen him in six years. Right. Last time I saw him, we're playing poker or eating lunch somewhere. Like we're hanging out. Me and him and Jerry Cantrell, pretty great, you know, brothers of mine, you know. But anyway, getting back to guys, I'm with Infidel, and it's so cool because you're a local band here. Rock on the Range is like. One of the biggest festivals in the Midwest, as you know. And you guys won the Fox Rocks contest. Explain to everybody, like, I'm going to talk to you all individually, but explain to everyone about Fox Rocks, the radio station, the contest. What? Tell me what it is. Tell everyone. Well, it's, it's the TV station in here. In oh, Columbus. it's TV. Yeah. It's, so it's not radio. Yeah, yeah, they're TV. Okay. And, um, Sorry, guys. I mean, they put it on every year with with the hope of a local getting out there and getting a chance to be seen. Oh, we should. And we get on the Jaeger stage and we get to start it out on, on whatever day. Yeah. And we've, we've been fighting for three years to get a chance to actually do it. And this year, we finally, after we rebuild half, half our band, you know, and then this year, still make it and play this big show. It's huge for us. Must be so exciting for you guys, man. Yeah. It's super cool. It's awesome. We're, we're, I mean, we're the half of the band that they rebuilt over here. Oh, that's super <laughs> cool. Rhythm section. So, like, you know, I love Ohio because Ohio loves rock and roll. Yeah. Whether it's MS, MMS in Cleveland, there's so many great stations here over the years. And I, like, I've gotten to work with some of the dudes who were DJs there. And, right. And, oh, yeah. And, you know, here at 99.7 yeah. Blitz What's is a big rock station. Yeah. Blitz, you heard of them? Yeah, I know. I've heard of them, of course. Yeah, they're the rock station yeah, they're here. they're cool. I love them. So, I mean, it's like, and when I'm here, it's getting in the car. It's always like, you got 10 minutes or 20 minutes to drive. Let's see right. what everybody's playing. Right. I'm always doing that. You know, as a DJ, you know, who's been working on radio right. for like a few decades now. Yeah. Shit, I'm old. But it's okay. You still rock. Right. But the point is, the point is, you know what it is? It's all really about like, you know, love and rock and roll. Right. So for you guys, how, how is it just trying to like break out in the club scene here? Like, as you're talking to other young bands out there, it, it's like, and the clubs that will support you as a radio, what's it like here? Some places are tough, I get it. They don't, they don't support original music. You gotta have your minions. It, it depends, you know, it depends on what kind of show. Minions. Yeah, it right. depends yeah. on what kind of show you want to play here. Because yeah. some with uh, national bands, you might have to sell tickets or something yeah. just to get a chance to share the stage. Pay to play and all that. Somewhat, yeah. yeah. And then some of the other shows, you you just play them and try to you know get people in the doors, and you got to promote a lot. And it's hard to get people to get off the couch these days or their or their smartphones, yeah. you know. So oh, shit, you're it takes right a lot. That. We use our Facebook, you know, like ours is a uh, Facebook slash Infidel Music, and. We have a lot of people that we try to, you know, reach through there and our personal pages. So it's easy that way. No, that's cool. Absolutely. Guys, there's all kinds of shit going on around you. Get a little distracted. Is, are you guys good? Are you good? Are you seeing something? He was distracting me. I apologize. What, by a mus musician or by, by an amazing woman? What were you looking at? I thought he said, he said tight pants. I was looking for a nice ass. All right. <laughs> guys, can't fault you for that. Right. You know what I mean? So guys, growing up here, First rock show you ever saw? First record you bought with your own money? Fuck me. First rock show I ever saw? Squar. First record I bought with my own money? Yeah. Squar. That's cool. Good. I was, you know, I was like 10. Yeah. And the show was so I, good. There was so much fun, right? I there. couldn't imagine anything like that. And yeah. to find out that there was actually people that were doing that. Yeah. It's awesome. Super cool. How about yourself? The first actual rock show I've been to was Ozfest 98. It was sweet. There was sod everywhere. Mention every, mention every band that you saw that you love that day. Oh. <laughs> Can you All right, we got, uh, I forgot that we uh, yeah, I, we, we have those, those moments. <laughs> I have holes in the brain. We were but, killing each other back here, folks, but we are good no matter what. You right, know, yeah. It was good. First album, Pantera, Vulgar Display of Power. Yeah, I love that record so much. 
like I said, I put it on in this room last night, but I wanted to say that, you know, um, was that need the year with like Tool and like uh, yeah, Tool Limp Biscuit it. and everybody? It was Tool, Limp Biscuit, uh, Megadeth. Uh, uh, I, I remember this band Systems called. first year, right? Uh, yeah. Remember Ultra Spank? Yeah. I don't know what the hell happened to them, but that was the craziest name I ever heard. I was like, shout out Ultra Spank. Great time. You know, it's funny. I, I remember me and Maynard from Tool and Evan from Biohazard sitting on the hill behind the PNC Art Center, and we were just joke, talking about it. We're like, and so on the next Biohazard record, Evan put, he goes, Matt, Maynard, and Evan, he goes, the single bald fathers club. Because <laughs> we were all single, <laughs> single fathers, and we were all bald. So it was pretty cool, because it was a great hat. We had a yeah. good time. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, great. <laughs> you got a good head, too. Like, thanks, thanks. Well, we have a good head, it, you know. It works. Yeah. yeah, so that's great. Well, that one tour was incredible. Yeah. How about I got hit, hit with a lot of sod that year. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> like, I, got I was a plastic moshing. bottle. <laughs> I, was, I was moshing the whole who time. Who was your favorite band on the whole? Uh, I'm a huge fan of Tool. I, yeah. Like that's when I first went to the mosh pit. Was it Corn there yeah, too? Yeah. I, this All is a true bands. story. I, I didn't even know that my brother was there. This is actually my brother. You guys are brothers? Yeah, that's my brother. I didn't even I didn't even know he was there, but I wore a shirt. So, so in other words, you guys you got him back in the band. And you're like, dude, why don't you do this shit? I've been shit jamming with my brother my whole life. I mean, you're like, dude, why don't you do this shit with us? Come on. Right. Yeah. When, you, when you got right. the band back together, that's yeah, cool. Of course. Yeah. Like, uh, I we, yeah, we all have like this weird history. history. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've like, all known history each other. Is what brings people together. It it's right. super cool. It's and the like love of music. Helps of people course. tolerate each other. Yeah. yeah. And guys, and I and I admire you and I understand when you get in the van and when you drive and the things that you do. You know, that's like it's closer than like being with your your family members you grew up with. Yeah. Of course you both did, you know what I mean? Yeah. So go ahead. What were you I, my first show? Yeah. Well, and I was a kid, my dad took me to concerts. If I remember correctly, it was Joan Jett. Believe She's it or not, great. it was. I love Joan. It was Joan. awesome to watch her rocking it out there, and I saw my dad. Joan's one of the greatest stories ever because no one wanted to sign her. Right. Like right. no one. And they said, "Why doesn't she like sing mellow?" Oh, she got a guitar. Yeah. She's rough. No, it's awesome. It inspired me. I was a little kid, and I just was like, "I want to be a rock star." <laughs> yeah. It was the show that it really did. She's it for me. so friggin' cool. I didn't really buy music until Corn came out. Yeah. Corn, 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 then Slipknot. Yeah. Love both bands? Yeah. I had to tell Corey like two nights ago. Dude, I haven't seen you, but I wanted to tell you how much I love Through Glass, too. So it's oh, yeah. It's a yeah. beautiful battle. Yeah. One of my favorite songs. Yeah. Love all the stuff. I saw Sean. So, so clown. Right. I've seen him so long. Uh, I know. It's amazing. And I love him. I love them. And they're, and they're so great. Right. I always tell people the story of San Antonio, Texas. They played that day, some not, and they were mad at the guy who was running my bike. Oh, they tell me I got a rap. All right, guys, I, but, I, but you got to finish the show. Album, he said, show. I um, cannot let you answer that. But. It's all good. Uh, my, my first one it was just checking the waters, man. It was Morbid Angel. I just wanted to see it. It looked cool on the yeah. album cover. Yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know. That's pretty crazy. But my first show was a corn concert. It was pretty awesome. It They're was, fantastic. It was with Stain. It was uh, the Sick and Twisted. Uh, it was a Guinness Book of World Records. Bands we love. And yeah. my friends. Yes. I had my daughter on stage. They put her on stage two weeks ago in Jacksonville. That's awesome. My youngest daughter, her eyes are brown. She's like, Dad, they're amazing. They are. And they her are. first concerts were Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. So uh, I brought, brought her, congratulations. bringing her into the rock world Thank now. you very much. <laughs> you know, you know. But like, you know, they were so good to her. They've been my brothers forever, and I love them. And it's cool. You. Guys, love hanging with you. Infidel, oh, yeah. thanks for spending Infidel, time. Infidel, Facebook, Infidel Music. Tell people how to check this stuff out. Yeah, Great. check us out. Good hanging with you guys. Everywhere. Also, Rock on the Ranch 2014. <laughs>